And we are back. Welcome back, everybody. Now let's continue on with the cloak. Fine, citizen. You need not worry, because I, the CEO of this very company, am going out to procure some delicious edible food substances. Would you like me to pick you up a cabbage or maybe some eggplants? You've got an axe in your face. Ha! Well, you've got an axe in your face. Oh. No. No, I don't either. Ah, do the winds of March. Or is it the tides of March? I think the winds of March is a song by Journey. Uh, uh, oh man, we forgot about Family Fun Night. I want to be in the battleship. No! No! You're always the battleship. You can be the shoe. I want to be the battleship for once. You can be the Meridian Vaz. The, the what? The Meridian Vaz. Um, yeah, I don't understand what you're... Someone's coming. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's a it's a rather swell night, isn't it? I'm a cop. I'm an officer of the law. <laughs> Why, yes, you are. Uh, you are. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not. I enforce the law, and laws, and codes, and statutes, and other things that require the enforcement of a police department employee. Sounds Why, that good is to in me. in fact your very job description. Yeah, so it looks like you may be breaking some laws out here tonight. <laughs> well, let's see. I've murdered the CEO of a toy company and his faithful floor security guard, and now I'm burying their axed up bodies in the former grave of a Mr. P. Whittlestone. The late Mr. P. Whittlestone I've dug up and thrown into a canal across the street to make proper room for his casket's new residence. Mm. Or did I? I might be completely innocent. Here is me. I've forgotten my tulips. Well, I do think that there are indeed a series of laws that have been broken here. Holy freedom fries! Quickly, Robert, run! Well, it seems the law has been laid down, Robert. What's the law? Harsh and unforgiving, and now we're on the lamb, outcasts of society, pushed away from the large, warm bosom of Lady America. It's not fair, Robert. I want that bosom. Well, you did axe up two innocent people. Yeah, but one of them was a Mormon. Freaking Mormons in their freaking dress shirts and ties and secret underwear and always ringing my doorbell at dinner time when I'm trying to eat my... Delicious crab meat. Ah well, what's done is done. You can't linger in the past. Oh, I wonder who that is. I have no idea. Hey, would you like to buy some jumbo shrimp? Are you serious? I'm hiding out in a clock tower. What do you think? Ah, uh, this is some high quality shrimp I've got here. Some tasty, tasty shrimp. None of which I've licked. Ah, uh, no, we don't want any shrimp. Oh, but I like shrimpies. Robert, we're not buying any shrimp. I'm sorry. But I like shrimpies too. No, I don't. Oh, hey, uh, 30 by you again. Uh, would you happen to have, like, a fork or something that I could buy? Um, I, I have this can of spaghetti, but nothing to eat it with. Maybe a, maybe a fork or a, a... Oh, if you have a fork. All right, that's it. We're leaving. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do one thing before we go. <laughs> oh, man, did you see that? He, he just, like, collapsed, like, instantly. Like, yeah. Oh, taking a picture with my mind. someone from a clock tower. I just, I, I never thought I'd have a chance, you know? Well, another day, another case solved. Hello? Hey, did you find my iguana? Antonio, communism is a mistress that you later find out is a mister, and no number of salt baths will ever rinse you of the shame. Hey, Robert, you ever wonder if, like, somewhere out there in space... There's another planet, like, exactly like ours, and, like, another another office with, like, people in it exactly like us, except they're, like, tacos, like, like, taco people. Chalupas? Yes, sexy, sexy chalupas. And I would be the sexiest chalupa of them all. Hey, Robert, can you get that? Oh, crap. Okay, interesting. Interesting take on, uh, I don't know what that was a take of, but I liked it. I thought it was entertaining, uh, much like everything else that Kevin sends me. So, so yeah, that's the end of that two-parter. So, until we meet again for another episode of Kyle's Critiques, 
I'm Kyle, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.